So I was on Amazon the other day and I noticed Micro Center has a new style of micro SD card. Instead of the old style, the black ones, they now have these new blue and white ones. And after some experimentation, these are actually more like a SanDisk Extreme or a um, Samsung Evo Plus edition. These are not the base models. They're super fast. I'm going to do some speed tests, but I have to give you a little heads up. They are fast. They're awesome. Um, they were making them up to 512. I think they might be sold out. They'll probably come back into stock. But um, there is a there's a caveat here, and you'll find out in the in the in the test. But um, they're fast and cheap, really, really cheap. So let's uh, test them out. So when you get it, it only comes in this package. It does say two fifty six. All right, we've recently formatted. We got. 233.2 gigabytes. It's about a 9% loss over 256 gigabytes. Um, a good comparison is my Samsung. I get 238 gigabytes. So it's five gigabytes less than you will get with a standard Samsung. Samsungs tend to have the most data compared to SanDisk. SanDisk, I imagine, is probably closer uh, in between those two to maybe like a 235, 236, maybe 237, but still pretty close to the Samsung more so than this one. So as far as space, this one is not the best. Now let's go ahead and run a speed test really quick here. Here it is, our E drive. Wow, and that is impressive. That is really impressive. Wow. So this thing is fast. That is impressive. That's amazing, amazing, amazing speeds. Let's show that again. Wow, up to 95. That is wild fast. I want to compare it to my other. My, yeah, I mean, this is the read and write speeds are, are in line with like a Sandus Ultra. That is really impressive. Or Sandus Ultra Extreme. Just see if it's going to fit on a couple of uh, 256 gigabyte images I have. So I have a couple Pi images over here. The first one is Rick dangerous and as you see his 256 gigabyte image um, is actually only 224 and 241 billion bytes which is going to fit on that micro sd card no problem which is great you have plenty of room for extra space things like that now wolf and nose released a 250 it's exactly 233 250 billion almost two let's see if this one works i forget mine is like really close to that so our E drive is the right drive. Let's go see if it works. Look at that, it's short. It's just barely, 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 barely short by 600,000 bytes. Anyways, here are the cards. <clears throat> These are the new Micro Center Premium. Now do note, they still make the old Micro Center cards. And these ones are like a basic card. The premium though is these faster cards. Now I bought my 256 gigabyte for $30, $29.99. They've now, since I've received my item, they no longer have it. I thought I also saw 512 on here before as well. So, but even the 128 at $15.99, and I don't know if you all saw that, but um, these have been, if you look at the camel, 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 they started out at like 18, 17, they're down to $16 which is really, really impressive. Um, same with the 64 gigabyte, only $9. If you see the price comparison, you can see, you know, it's at a new price drop at $9. So yeah, I can highly recommend these as they're not only, they're not your standard SD cards. These are super fast SD cards. Now, because of the, the speed increase, do note that the capacity is not as good as like a Samsung Evo Plus or a Samsung select um, those are still some of my favorite cards but if you you know you can live without a few extra gigabytes then I would not hesitate for a second to give these a try but anyways that's what I think let me know you all think don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one